while undergoing treatment. The relay begins now as the sun is starting to set. This symbolizes the time that the person has been diagnosed with cancer. The day is getting darker and this represents the cancer patient's state of mind as they feel that life is coming to an end. As the evening goes on, it gets colder and darker, just as the emotions of the cancer patient do. Around 1 to 2 a.m. represents the time when the cancer patient starts treatments. They become exhausted, some sick, not wanting to go on, possibly wanting to give up. Participants in Relay feel much the same way when walking during these hours. They cannot stop or give up just as the cancer patient cannot stop or give up. Around 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. symbolizes the end of treatment for the cancer patient. Once again, they are tired, but they know they will make it. The sun rising represents the end of treatment for the cancer patient. They see the light at the end of the tunnel and know that life will go on. The morning light brings on a new day full of life and excitement for the new beginnings for the cancer patient. Participants feel the brightness of the morning and know that the end of relay is close at hand. When participants leave the relay, they think of cancer patients leaving their last treatment. Just as participants are exhausted with meat, so is the person after treatment. We want to thank all of you for coming, especially the team captains, teams, committee members. Standing behind me is the volunteer committee that put this entire event together. Without their hard work and dedication to the American Cancer Society, this event would not be possible. We would also like to thank our corporate sponsors, and if there's anybody here that represent them, please step forward. Ashford University.
and developed a deeper awareness of myself. Having cancer has taught me that laughter is truly the best medicine. The day of my first chemo, I expected to find a dark, quiet room, but I soon realized that was not true. Cheryl and Karina, my chemo nurses, filled the room with their energy, humor, and smiles. Today, along with Jamie and Heather, they celebrate the good news with us and help carry our burdens on the dark days. It didn't take long for me to learn that our community is truly blessed to have Dr. Agarwal and Dr. Dion. Until you have experienced their expertise and compassion, you don't realize how lucky we are. When I first met Dr. Agarwal, I was full of questions. When you begin your journey, the road is long and filled with uncertainty and fear. From Dr. Agarwal, I learned that when faced with a monumental battle, you need to take it one step at a time. Concentrate on now, not what will be happening weeks and months in the future. Dr. Dion, on the last day of my radiation, pulled me aside and taught me that truly the battle starts the day your treatment ends. It is a mental game. I was reminded when I was diagnosed that Randy and I, in our jobs as teachers in the Clinton District, work with what is truly our extended family. When I first became ill, the staff at Clinton High hired a, hired a housekeeper for the school year. What a wonderful gift. By the way, seven years later, I'd like to say I still have the same housekeeper. <laughs>
and confidence by each experience in which we really stop to look fear in the face. We must do that which we think we cannot. Eleanor Roosevelt. Some days there won't be a song in your heart. Sing anyway. My favorite quote speaks to me of strength and courage, searching deep inside yourself. Albert Amos, Nobel Prize winner stated, in the midst of winter, I finally learned that there was in me an invincible summer. Thank you so much and enjoy the moment. Angels. Mercy radiation on top. And last is Team Marine. 